Now, before we jump into what is HTML, let us try to understand why do I need HTML. A single sentence would give better answer for this that is share information. I want to share some information with the world in the form of pages linked together. So what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is used to design and develop web pages. Now what is web page? What is website? A life example could be your google.com. It is a website. A website contains n number of pages. Now say there is some XYZ website, you will find many pages in it. Say home, about us, contact us. So these are all various pages. And all these pages are linked together with the help of hyperlinks. So you have a hypertext, the text links to another file. So HTML is very simple language. It is browser and platform independent. It is not case sensitive. And it is a medium for user interface. So we use HTML to design user interface UI. Whatever you see at the end is your HTML page. So any website, irrespective to any technology, anything that you see on your internet browser is HTML. Now, let us have an observation. Let us try to go and observe google.com. Now you see this, this is a web page. Now I'll click on about. This is another web page. You see this web page consists of logo, image, text, links, links to other pages. Now what I will do, I'll just click F12. So in this you have elements tab. If I click on this elements tab, then this is the complete HTML code. Now, if you observe HTML starting tag, we call it as a tag and ending HTML tag. It has two major tags. One is head, another is body. Basically, this is the page structure. So even you see not document type HTML with an exclamatory mark. So I, re I read it as not. So even this is one tag. Now, what does this tag means? We will see in our future lectures. So as of now, we understand that your HTML page starts with HTML tag and ends with HTML tag. And in between, it has head and body tag. Now, head tag contains many other tags like script tag meta tag title tag and body tag can contain div tags nested div tags with h1 tag so these are all tags so now let us go back to the subject so what we have observed we have observed a document type now what does this means we will see in our future lectures Actually, this is related to the latest technology HTML5. So our page structure or you can say HTML page or web page. It is something like this. It has an HTML start tag, HTML end tag. In between you have head tag. Head tag will have some other tags like title tag and you have body tag with this. Now let us see a demo to create our first HTML page. So we will name it as my first page dot HTML. Now you see every file has an extension. Say I'm writing a program in C, C program. So it will have an extension of dot C. If it is C plus plus, it will have an extension of dot CPP. If it is a notepad text file, then it will have an extension of dot TXT. So in the same way, your HTML page will have an extension of dot HTML. So I can write dot HTML or I can also write dot HTM. But the best practice is use .html. Now to create your HTML pages, we need any text editor. So for simple or simplicity purpose, we'll go with notepad. I can use notepad to create my HTML pages. Its extension should be either HTML or HTML. 
so we need any browser to run the page say chrome so here i'm going to use chrome so i will write html code in notepad and i will run that in browser so i need notepad and i need browser now let us implement that so i have my notepad here i will say <coughs> html html my start tag and tag so this will have a head tag and ending head tag a body tag and ending body tag head tag can have tag that is title so i'll give the title as this is my first page and in the body tag i will display some message i'll write directly a message welcome to first html page now i need to save this i'll say save as i'm going to save it on desktop my first page dot html now i'll say save now i need a browser to run this so i'll take out this browser i'll set it beside so we have created our page on desktop so i'll just go to the folders and i'll go to the desktop then you should see my first page or i can simply double click this Now you see that it is running welcome to first HTML page and title you can see this is my first page. Now if I make any changes and I'll save this and refresh this. Now you see the changes. So we have successfully executed. Now I'll select this and I'll say F12. You can inspect even this page. Let me make it full screen. You can see element again. It has head tag and a body tag with simple text. Head tag has title. We have HTML open tag and close tag. So this is the simplest page. So coming once again, I need a simple notepad. And here writing everything in a new line is not necessary. I can have my complete code in a single line because it understand in terms of start tag and end tag it never think in the terms of new line so now my complete code is in a single page single line i'll save this i'll refresh this so it should not affect now if you think that here i say welcome to first html then page is in second line now i'll save this and refresh this but you still see that page is on the same line that means the new line in the notepad will not make a new line in your browser if you want a new line then you need a tag everything is understood in the terms of tag so your browser understand tags so if it says br tag so this is break i say break so new line even though it is in the same line now it will display this whenever it encounters br then it will think that going to the next line then it will print this now i'll save this and refresh this now you see that welcome to first html then page is in the next line hope you might have understood so this is our first simplest demo that's it for this video. Thank you very much.